everyone, we're going to make a pineapple upside down cake. I have a pan that came from my grandmother made for pineapple upside down cake. Um, you're going to take one stick of melted butter and you're going to put it in the bottom of your pan here. And each hole here I have a room for a pineapple. The pan was made this way, so um, normally you can just use an 8 inch skillet. So what we're going to do is stick our pineapple down in here. Now you want to save your juice of your pineapple because you're going to need that here in a little bit. So, then you're going to need some cherries and again you want to save your cherry juice. So we got those in there. Okay, so now we're going to take some cherries and we're going to put them in the center of our pineapple. And then what I'm going to do is we're going to get our dry ingredients together, so we're going to set this aside. Okay, y'all, so I have in my bowl here, I have one cup of flour. We're going to add one cup of sugar. Then we're going to add three egg, the egg yolks, and you want to save your whites. So let's get those in here. Okay, then what we're going to need is um, one teaspoon of baking powder. Okay, then we need, let's see what we got here, a pinch of salt. Then we need three tablespoons of your pineapple juice. So, one, two, three. Okay. Then let me get my vanilla. All right, so we got my vanilla here. We need one teaspoon of vanilla. Then we need two tablespoons of your cherry juice. So. All right. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this and mix this together till everything is combined. So I will be back here in a second once I mix this up. So now we got this together. Now what we're going to do is you're going to take your egg whites and we're going to be beat these to um, soft peaks, you know. So we're going to go ahead and get started on beating these together. So I got this beaten to stiff peaks. So we're going to take our batter here and we're going to fold our egg whites into our batter. So you want to do a little bit at a time and you just want to fold it in okay just want to fold it together you don't want to do all of it at once but you just want to fold it in and this really does make the difference um, with the egg whites being folded in so I'm gonna get the rest of these fold it in here and I'll be right back with you. So here we go, we got it all folded in. So now we're gonna dump it into our pan here. Y'all, so I got it all in my pan here. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to put this in the oven for 325 degrees for about 40 to 45 minutes. I'm going to keep an eye on it and I'll be back to let you know um, the exact time. All right, everyone, while we're waiting for that to get done, I want to let everybody know that there's cookbooks still available. I will put the link above this post for those of you who are interested, um, or you can get in contact with me um, and you can send a check. That will work just fine. 
So um, these are still available. Why quantity lasts. This is volume one. It has 212 recipes um, and stories and pictures all inside here. There's stories, um, pictures, um, tons of recipes. So I hope um, everyone is having a wonderful day. And um, I will let you know what this thing looks like after it gets out the oven. So we will be right back with y'all. All right, all you lovelies. I pulled the cake out. It's been in for 325 degrees for 40 minutes. And it's all done and looking fabulous. So I hope everyone gives this a try and let us know how you enjoy it. Have a wonderful afternoon.